Hey, this is Randy, and welcome to Matt Tech TV. In this uh, episode, I'm going to show you a couple of really simple steps to turn a Word document into a protected form. In other words, you can send it off to someone, a recipient, and they can click around only in boxes and spaces that you've designated. They can complete that uh, content and return it to you without uh, mucking around with any of the other uh, content that you've created on the document. So it's a real simple task and something that probably you had had the chance to learn years ago. However, if you're like me, you've gone through five or six or ten different versions of Word, or you've slept since then and forgotten how to do it. And so we're going to do this real quick tutorial, and hopefully by the time we're done, you can uh, at least do a real basic form, uh, and that'll be something that'll be useful to you. Anyway. Off, down to business. So we can see right here I've created this little form, very exciting permission slip for a field trip. And uh, I want to turn it into uh, an interactive form by taking these text boxes, which normally if I were to start typing, um, it's going to do something like this. And you can see how it's totally changing the format of my entire document. But I, instead I want to do a clickable box that I can add content to. Uh, and it'll maintain the integrity of the rest document. So uh, there's a tool for that, but the problem is I don't see it up here. If you'll notice, it says I've got my tabs, home, insert, design, layout, so on and so on. The one I actually need is called a developer tab, and I don't see that. And just if you're curious, by the way, I am using version 15.32 of Word. Uh, but anyway, how do I get that uh, additional tab out of there? Well, it's real simple if you know where to look. You go to Word. Go to Preferences up here at the very top. Then you're going to go to View, just in case you missed that. Here it is, View. And right down here at the bottom, it says Show Developer tab. And I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to close it and watch what happens. Voila, I have a developer tab. So just so you see how this works, we're going to first do this blank, which is first blank is going to be where we want them, obviously, to put their name. I blank do hereby get blah, blah, blah. So we're going to click on... We're going to highlight that text, or I could just put a, put my cursor there, go to the Developer tab, and then I'm going to go across here till I find the Text Box tool, because that's what this is. It's just text. And I click like that, and you can see what happens here. I get a blank text box. I'm going to do the same thing here for the child's name. I'm going to try. How about that? There we go. Again, go to Text Box, click that. And now I've got a box for the child as well. I'm going to go down here and do this in several other places. Special needs. If um, I can accept electronic signatures, I might want to do it here. So I'm going to say text box and then date right here, text box. All right, now a couple of things um, uh, that I can do with these text boxes. Uh, text boxes. First of all, I can limit the number of characters. For example, on date, if I double click the box, I can get in here and you see where it says maximum length, and I can change that number to whatever. I mean, for example, if it's uh, the standard eight digit format, but maybe they're going to type it anyway. Maybe I'll just say 30. I think 30 ought to be more than enough, even if they type out October 28th or whatever. Um, so that's one thing I can do. Another thing I can do is I can put instructions in the form of text that's there when they first see it. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. If I double click this special needs, you see right here we're at the top of this uh, text form options box. If I click on default text, I can leave instructions like, um, you know, I could say list any special dietary needs, medications, allergies, etc. And then click OK. And now you can see that when they view this form, it's going to have this little prompt of text here so they'll know what to put in that box. That's that's helpful in some cases, so you definitely need that. You could also do check boxes and combo boxes and things like that, but we're just going to stick to this really simple fill-in-the-blank kind of format here for today. All right, so I've got my uh, form boxes in there. But it's not quite ready to send out because as it is now, if I send it to them, they can still actually click all over this document and make changes. So I'm going to go to this little button under the Developer tab right here and say Protect Form. All right. Now I'm going to save it. 
and it'll come up here in a second and we're going to go to documents and I'm going to save it as yeah spring field trip sounds good save and now I've saved it so that's basically it you send this out to the person the intended recipient they receive it they can only click in these blanks and complete them then they can save it as whatever they wish and send it back to you so that's it I hope that helps uh, something I find quite useful quite often so that said have a great day and I'll see you next time on Matt Tech TV